In the previous video, we took some formulas and solved for a specific variable when we knew what all the other variables in the formula were equal to. In this example, it says solve the formula perimeter equals two times the length plus two times the width for the length. And it doesn't give us values for the perimeter, it doesn't give us values for the width or anything like that. So the idea here is that we may want a different variable isolated in the formula than is isolated currently. So right now, of course, perimeter, P, is isolated. But we may want the length isolated instead. Um, you know, why would you want this? Well, maybe um, if you know what perimeter you want and you know what width you want, you'd like to be able to just plug those numbers in quickly and figure out what length to make the, um, you know, to make your rectangle. So um, that might be a situation where you would want to, to have the length solve for instead of, say, the perimeter P. And so here's, uh, here's the strategy, right? The strategy for doing this problem is to treat all variables that you are not solving for like numbers. So just pretend they're numbers. Okay. So um, one strategy uh, that might help you put this into practice would be to plug in some fake numbers for the variables you're not solving for over on the side. So, um, you know, let's maybe let P equal 12. And maybe let W equal, and I'll write up here, you know, P equals 12. W equals four, okay? So, um, and let's not make W four, that's too big. Maybe just make W one, let's keep it real simple. Right, all we're doing is just making up fake numbers to help us with our strategy here. So two times, two times one would be two, okay? So now what you do is you ask yourself, what do I do first in this equation? And hopefully we've done enough solving of equations by now that you feel comfortable just simply saying, oh, okay, I would subtract two from both sides. But then what you do is you ask yourself, okay, so what is the two in this equation representing in this equation? And of course it's representing the two W that I see here. So if I would subtract the two first in this made up equation, I would definitely subtract two W first in my actual equation. So I'm left with P minus two W on the left side and two L on the right side. And here, of course, the only thing left to do is to get rid of this two in front of the L. And so we will divide both sides by two. And you're gonna have multiple terms up here, but understand you have to divide the entire side by two. So make sure this fraction bar goes all the way across to show that the entire thing is divided by two. So our formula that we get from solving for L is L equals P minus 2W over 2. So now if you know the perimeter of a rectangle and you know its width, you can plug them into this formula and you'll automatically get the length.